in Pawford, one does not have to worry about the rain. One can live outdoors as well as inside. Yes, one can, because one has constructed the necessaries. Yes, so look at that. You can be sat with the aroma of lavender, geraniums, not yet flowered, of course, um, the Russian vine, the spiders, the angels, the and everything like the foxgloves is getting a lot of... Um, well, yeah, well, that is the, the, the simple version of a drain pipe. Now, if it was a proper um, pagoda, it would have a drain pipe over there, you see, and then it would collect, yes, in a water butt, but I gave it away to a charity shop in the end because I did cut and use the water butt on the, um, on the drains, but, I mean, it never worked properly. I mean, you know, it, <laughs> it was... Anyway, I don't know whether or what, what, why I fitted it wrong, but anyway, there, that's where it was, but that's the new drain, and I'm not going to do anything about that. Right, where was I? Oh, yeah, so everything's getting a lovely watering, and this is, yep, oh, well, um, yes, this is, well, I have a lot of extra. I was going to put them round the garden, those, but um, I quite, look, if it's light wood and even green painted at the back, I mean, you can't even see the fences around here. Um, it's a bit boring. A, fen a fence is boring. That's why I was thinking of putting that on or, or, or posters. Yes, posters up. Uh, of course, not on the fence itself. But anyway... Um, this is what happens when it rains in Pulford and one can live outdoors. Yes, that's the neighbour's couch. They were going to get rid of it because it had a spring. Oh, the Encyclopedia of Wrexham. That book is just the best. We looked up a place called Stanley Place yesterday. Oh, and it tells you in just a few lines, without boring you to tears, um, the history uh, and, and background of why streets are called this name and that, and it's interesting, yeah? I mean, you know, I mean, Pulford, of course, a bit boring, because Pulford is the place, it means marsh over the river. Anyway, most of the river, the, uh, the bridge over the marsh, actually, uh, in Welsh, Pull, Pull, Ford, Ford, as in Ford. Anyway, this is what happens when it rains. Uh, the front view, of course, is equally, that's George, he's my favourite, he, he he goes to work occasionally, well, with me on the other end of him. Oh, yes, and I mean, I just have lovely, I love dresses. I got that one from the Antique Sentoria in, in uh, Shrewsbury. Of course, I ought to uh, tidy up, then I can use it for other things besides, um, well, besides, you know, well, yes. Well, I haven't quite organised it. Um, that's non juice for the dogs. Um... Right, where was I? Yeah, this is the uh, front conservatory, which is uh, otherwise known as a porch. Um, the dog sleeps, the dog kennel, actually, because the, he he guards the door. You, you can't. He, thou shall, you shall not pass. So this is the view from my my uh, front uh, conservatory. Depends which way you look at it. I look. There's the back, which has a proper huge one, as you just saw. Um, Quinn. BT Internet. Well, I mean, they're always going wrong. I used to pay them a fortune. I'm surprised they don't own the company. Oh, yes, the days when we paid hundreds, not tens of pounds for internet access. The Dianthus, of course, that wafts in, you see, in this evening air. Oh, he's got lost. Why well, he's turning around. No wonder the road markings are all worn off. Oh, I love these Viola pansies, or they never look as good in one's own... Uh, Anyway, so here you see, yeah, so I'm sitting totally covered by just a temporary thing. I thought I might do something there, but um, it's not that bad, is it? Hey, you're not too unhappy, are you, Cluckingham Palace, Peter Storm? Anyway, I've got lots of those large golfy type umbrellas. Um, and they're totally, totally OK. I mean, one could sit under here, in fact. That's what's the purpose of, of that, and I ought to do something about this. This was yesterday at Rex and Tip I found it. This, 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 what's it called? Um, I can't remember now. Anyway. Well, there we go. Woofo, woofy. Oh, he's over there now. Oh, well, someone's. So, that basically is, you can, one wants to be uh, amidst the elements. One doesn't want to be shut off in a closed-in conservatory. I mean, the problem with conservatories is that you know, you're not actually feeling the fresh air or anything. You're in a, you know, in a box, aren't you? So nobody lives in them, really, do they? Um, 
Oh, this is all the mint. It's lovely. So you brush past mint, rhyanthus smells, lots of um, walking cans, various animals. Well, look at that, eh? Uh, that book casing I did of the, uh, with the oak wood planks of the uh, Grosvenor Hotel. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's skipping them. I put them up. No nails. Look at that, eh? Solid. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're everywhere. That's all. Well, I haven't quite fixed. Well, I mean, I'm never going to fix that, am I? That's what happened when I had my plumbing leak and I didn't have a shower or water for, for several months. Oh, gosh, anyway. No, I don't use the telly anymore. I really ought to find the plug for it to watch some videos. Oh, and that is a bin. And it is the tiger in the tank. The new vegan. I have more books than hot. Well, you can never have too many washing lines. They always come in useful. And sewing machines. Hat boxes that no hat will fit into. But I must. But they're very pretty boxes. I've got so many lovely hats, actually. I mean, I don't. I do look after them. Well, one day we will sort out the kitchen. And oh, there's Mimi, la vegan cat, la petite. That's the best thing to end on. Yes, you always choose your favourite place. Well, you're not going to be out in this weather, are you? Oh no. Well, those lights haven't worked for years. Right. Well, that's it. That's the tour of a rainy day in Pulford.